Hi, it's Chris and welcome back. We just got done with the keyword section. We're moving along really well. So just to, you know, like I said, you should have a lot of keywords. The more the better. Um, I'm not sure what the max is in Bing Ads. I think it's about 2,000 keywords you can have per campaign. So it is okay to max that out. But uh, I usually, for each campaign, I usually am in the range of about, you know, 700 to 1,000 keywords on every campaign. So as long as you have more than 300, you're good. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and go over to ads. Now, if you're not seeing the screen for some reason, um, let me show you how to get there. I'll back out where I am. All right, so you go to campaigns. If you have more than one campaign created, and you may only just have the one if you're just starting out, uh, you'll want to find the campaign we created. The one we did together in the example was the survey offer. <clears throat> and we uh, already added the keywords. And what I want you to do is go over to ads. Okay, so this is very important. When you create a campaign with all the keywords, um, you need to create a minimum of three ads because you want to split test different titles, right? Because what you learn, in fact, this is where we can go back to uh, back to Google here, so I can show you Google Bing, whatever you want to use for your search engine, and I type in paid surveys. Okay. Now, a lot of people do click the first link, but sometimes uh, another ad title is going to be appealing to to somebody else. So, you know, um, you may have uh, you may have Bob over here in Washington who clicks this ad because he likes this title, but you may have someone over here who clicks this this ad. So, it's important that we need to create, um, you know, more than one ad title. So, we'll go ahead and just grab another ad title for our example if you want to, um, and uh, that's uh, you know that's why we want to split test. Okay, which we'll talk about doing here in just a minute. But before we do that, actually, let me get a little bit ahead of myself. Before we do that, we have this first one created. So it's really easy to create another ad. If you're in here, you just go ahead and click on the little gray button that says Create Ad. It's going to copy all the information, all the links over. Uh, what I want you to do with this one, and this is very important, you need to also do this with every campaign. If you want to get a high click-through rate, and you want to get really, really good results on your campaign. Plus, we'll be able to do some reverse marketing with this. So this is a very, this is a very important step. If you're following everything step by step, your campaigns are going to be perfect. So you want to clear out the ad title, and you want to go over here where it says dynamic text. So it's really small. You see where it says dynamic text? I'm going to zoom in so you can see that dynamic text. You're going to click on that. And you want to do the one that says placeholder keyword. I'm going to explain to you how this works. So when a user types in, because remember, we just added eight or 900 keywords, or you know, we added a ton of keywords. Let's just put it that way. When a user types in a very specific phrase into Bing or Yahoo, when they type in, you know, I want to make money online before Friday, right? Because you're going to get users that do type out phrases like that. And let's just say that uh, Google happened to generate one of those phrases. Well, what's going to happen is your ad title is going to be whatever the user types into Bing. So if the user types in how to make $500 online, your ad title is going to say how to make $500 online. So you create relevancy. So if I go to Google and you know, I type in how to make you know, $500 online, I'm going to click an ad that says how to make $500 online. Like, Well, there's no ads that show up for this, but I'm going to click, um, you know, I'm going to click the one that looks the most relevant to me. Same thing with being in Yahoo. So this keyword feature is actually the secret to high click-through rates and super cheap clicks. Not only did we bid, it's also the secret to getting those cheap clicks consistently. So using this is very important keyword. All right, so think about this. If you're doing a weight loss campaign, someone types in how to lose three pounds in 30 days, they see your ad. Your ad is going to say how to lose three pounds in 30 days because this, uh, this keyword tool automatically puts in whatever the user types in to the search box, it's going to make your ad title. That's really awesome if you ask me. Another thing that you can do uh, and that I found that's very effective um, is adding the year, so 2015. So make money online 2015. It would put so this would work this way. Now, whatever the user types into the search box, the ad title is going to say, you know, make money online 2015 or you know how to do this 2015, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Pretty awesome, right? So that's something that is really, really powerful as well. Very powerful way to market. And adding 2015 works just for about every campaign. But usually, what I do for the very first one is I just leave it at keyword. All right, then I come over here to add text, and I like to just clear everything out, and I go to dynamic text, and I click keyword again. All right, 
So go ahead and put keyword, and then what you can do, um, I usually like to add more after it, so you put keyword in there, and you can come back and uh, go to Google, type in paid surveys again, and let's just use this one. So we'll copy it, and we'll go over to Bing Ads, and we'll paste it. Looks like everything fits. So there we go. Display URL, same thing. We're going to clear everything out, but leave the www. Go to dynamic text, put keyword, and then you probably guessed it, you're going to add .com. So far making sense, right? So we have whatever the user types now shows up as the title, whatever the user types now shows up in the ad text, plus some additional supporting text to make the ad relevant. And then we have the display URL, which also whatever the user types. All right, and then the destination URL, this is very important, you never never change the destination URL because the destination URL has to always point to your affiliate product. Now, if you're split testing, that's fine, but you always want to leave the destination URL. As you can see, it's that uh, ClickBank link we used. So everything is now set up really well, and we're just going to go and click Save and create another because we need a minimum of three. Okay. All right, this one doesn't meet, and I know, you know, I know why. It's because of this extra text. So let's just do Keyword and click Save and create another. Okay, there we go. So that should work. All right, there it goes. All right, so what you'll see is sometimes you'll see approved limited, and that's just because uh, sometimes the you know sometimes the countries um, or certain states and locations due to advertising guidelines to prevent that. So um, the reason why it didn't let, let us use the other ad is because this you know, this was uh, against the editorial guidelines. So sometimes you'll get that message. And what you want to do is just play with it, you know. Like, uh, I could put keyword, get paid, uh, you know, get paid doing surveys. Okay. So we're going to create another one. Now, this is important, too. So if we go up here to the ad title again, we're going to create our third ad. Um, I like using the keyword phrase. This time, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the year 2015. Right, you can pick any you know any supporting keyword you want. Um, I'll go ahead and put 2015 here, and I'll leave everything else the same. So keyword 2015. So just keep in mind, you know, you kind of have to play it out in your head. Whatever the user types 2015. Now some of the phrases won't make sense, but that's okay for the majority. It works really well. We'll click save and create another. Okay. All right, and so sometimes you get this, uh, you know, you get this as well, pending editorial. It just really depends on, uh, you know, it really depends on what you're promoting and how you're, you know, how you're promoting it. So, but the keyword tool is very, very powerful. All right. So what we want to do now is now we've played a little bit with the keyword. Um, you're more than welcome to play with it some more, you know, adding more text and things like that. What you want to do is you want to come in and create a few more ads. This time we're going to just uh, get some examples from Google. So back here to where I was at before, we're going to go to paid surveys. Once again, you're going to type in whatever you know, whatever offer you're promoting. So if it's make money online, you're going to type make money online. If it's affiliate marketing, you'll type in affiliate marketing. So we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and type in this for our next ad title. All right, and we'll uh, go ahead and. Uh, Copy this uh, this this uh, text here. You can mix and match, and there's your ad text. And we'll go ahead and click on save and create another. Okay. So as you see, some of them will say pending editorial review. Sometimes I just delete these if if they say that. It's up to you if you want to leave it. Um, but uh, yeah, you, it's up to you if you want to just delete it or keep it. I'll just go ahead and leave it there though. So so far we have this now. It it's also says eligible, which is good. We have. This is uh, this for our survey offer. So we have quite a few different ad copies, and you're more than welcome to go through and create more, but as long as you have a minimum of three, I'm going to zoom out, you should be good to go. You want to have three different ads that you can split, and I really, really recommend using the keyword spin feature in at least two of the copies. Mix it up. Don't just, you know, don't just put keyword like this, um, you know, for every single one. You want to use keyword, and then you could do something like paid surveys, all right? You can... Kind of what you're kind of doing here is you're kind of keyword stuffing um, <laughs> with what the user searches, but this really works very, very effectively. Same thing down here. You can go to dynamic text, uh, go to keyword, and then you can add more supporting text like uh, you know start earning with every survey. 
Okay, and we'll click Save and Create Another. All right. So as you can see, the way you mix it up, if you noticed that, you know, when I add more keywords after the, you know, after the text, it says eligible, you know, this one, you know, says pending editorial review. So depending on how you set this up, you know, this one got approved limited because look, you know, the way it works. So you just have to create a bunch of different ad copies and um, you really don't want to go, you know, you really don't want to create any more than eight. I would say eight is the maximum you want to do because if you create too many, then, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't really work too well either. So you want to be somewhere in the range of three is the minimum for sure and then eight is the maximum. So I usually do about five, which is kind of somewhere in the middle. Okay, and that's it for creating the ads. And so that's going to really help because if you just think about it now when the user types out that phrase, that's going to be your ad title. And if you have over 800 keywords, like let's go back to our keywords tab just so I can give you an example. How many other advertisers are probably doing this? Not too many. So if someone comes in here and they type in, you know, how to make money with paid surveys, it's going to make that the ad title. <laughs> And that's going to help your click-through rate because click-through rate comes down to um, ad relevancy, and so you're making very relevant ads. All right, so far so good. All right, so we talked about, uh, just to recap, we talked about uh, creating more ad copies um, using using the, the keyword feature in Bing. Uh, we talked about creating multiple um, ads and why it's important to create multiple copies because different users will click on different ads and so it's good to have different ads rotating in the network especially when you have a lot of keywords it makes sense to have more than just one out one ad that's put into place All right so in the next video we'll uh, we'll talk more and we'll go into more depth about being ads and kind of how you monitor the results and uh, you know at this point in time your campaign is pretty much live as long as you have funding in your account your campaign is live so you can actually start seeing activity in your account in as little as five minutes from now so that is really awesome and I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching